Welcome back to Gintama Anime Review. This is episode 11. This one, I'm just reviewing the newest episode of the anime. Yeah, trying to find the the other stuff. Uh, the movies are not hard to find, the anime movies. It's just that finding these Jump Fastest specials is proving to be pretty difficult. Okay? Yeah. So, I'm reviewing the 66th episode of the anime. Technically, this is also the 13th episode... Well, actually, the 25th episode of the 10th season of the show. Mm -hmm. Yep, which is adapting the Silver Soul arc. Yeah, this one uh, is called Dun Dun. It adapts chapters 683 to 685, which means that this series has roughly about 13, episodes, 13 chapters left to adapt for the whole series. What happens in this episode? Well, you have Tagaski and Gein arriving at Edo, being followed by Hitsuga and Yamazaki. Yamazaki disappears halfway through the episode. Yeah, he splits in half briefly. He's stopped by by Hitsuga. And, of course, he poses Hitsuga for a little bit in posting a couple of mannequins. And, of course, Gein, who kind of figures out right away that he's being followed by these two, decides to become a mannequin, just hide from Shipachi's sister. Yep. And, yeah... In between episodes, apparently she lost all that weight she put on during the when, when right after the series had its two-year time skip. Yeah, it was revealed that when right after the time skip she put on some weight. Here she just it seems like over the course of I don't know very quickly she lost all that weight. She's returned to being thin again, which I'm sure for a lot of people it's very happy for her to do that. Uh, Shinpachi and Kagura are nowhere in this episode at all. Yeah, this is something really weird about... When, when I read this in the manga, even I thought this was really weird. But half the time, Shinpachi and Kagura didn't interact with Gintoki until about halfway through the Aftermath stuff. Yeah, it took a little while, but eventually they did reunite. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, after... It, they she showed up basically the mess of these mannequins. She takes... Two of them home. Yamazaki disappears. He's never seen the rest of the episode. Unknown what happens to him. Uh, she takes him home, and of course they they get. Uh, he, she takes home. Uh, she does not know it's actually Gin and Hitsuga. This guy's his mannequins. They get the crap beaten up by a bunch of overweight women hitting with kendo sticks. Then they get thrown out when when after they get knocked over, and apparently Kubi, who apparently has cut her hair in a time skip. Yep, she's cut her hair. Though she still wears the same exact outfit. Aside from her haircut, nothing else has changed with this woman at all. Except that she says, oh yeah, uh, I'm not bringing home any more women. And her grandfather apparently supposedly disappeared to die of food poisoning. Nope, he's still alive. And he has... Uh, his beard has grown a lot thicker. Eventually he took home Gein, Yamazaki... Now, Gein hits a guy, and a guy they think is Sagaski, who was posing as a mannequin. Turns out it's actually not him. Uh, he disappears, pops up in a bear costume, and then he's not seen for the rest of the episode. And then eventually, uh, Gein runs to the guy. He thinks it's Sagaski, took his, his wig, did not have real him. So he's hides posing for a little bit. And then, Sarah Toby pops up. Yeah, where she's wearing a slightly different outfit. Mostly it's the same. She's a little more confident in herself. She's not. She's still obsessed over Gein. And she sends, and uh, Zenzo was has basically abandoned being his position. So he gives it to Sarah Toby. And Sarah Toby tells the Alaba to do one task: find Gein, find Kentucky uh, Sakaska, and have him marry me. So she sends him out to go find them. And he, she does kind of find him. She does not know this is Gein. As a matter of fact. Yeah, this is the thing that's really dumb about this part of this, this, this particular arc. Is that Gein is hiding from people he knows. Because they think he probably abandoned Edo. He left because he wanted to basically go out and find the seems that he remains of, of basically the villain. And of course they also bring up prior to this that they're also hunting after um, a couple like this group. Who apparently have the guy who's actually kind of a light brought back as a child. Helm hostages in a spaceship, which or in a plane, which is not being detected by radar. My guess is they're hiding hiding on the darks of the moon. That's my personal theory. So basically, Sarah Toby chains him up, and apparently she also poisons him. 
a type of poison that causes to give some diarrhea. Yep. So he tries to use the bathroom, and apparently she has all the bathrooms. Somehow she uses her influence to have all these ninjas occupy all these bathrooms. And then eventually he gets himself a new pair of underwear because he basically crapped himself. And he runs into Tats uh, Takio. Yep, runs to her. Appearance-wise, even though I've seen a picture of her, what she looks like, she she has a completely different attire. Here she's pretty much wearing the same exact outfit she wears when she pre-time skip. The only difference is she's wearing like a kind of like a sweater coat. She's wearing that. Aside from that, nothing else has changed about her at all. Uh, she has another appearance. And eventually, uh, Kiwi basically is trying on like marriage komodos, and apparently she, she she takes off her pant. Apparently, her panties are lying on the floor outside of this changing room. And I'm thinking though, uh, Kiwi uh, isn't still. I I don't know if she, it's unknown if she's still in love with Otia. She's been in love with her for some time. I don't know if she is. So the uh, panties thrown out, and apparently, uh, because this is an underwear store, and she, the chain that that Gein's got wrapped right around his neck gets accidentally wrapped around Tagusi's arm, and all these women basically are there. And of course, Gein is basically also doing the dumb dumb look, yeah, thinking he is Tagusi even though he really isn't at all. Nope, he really isn't. And I'm thinking though, um, Sarah Toby, walk up to him and take off his freaking wig. It's not that hard for you to do. Just pull the chain for him. Because I'm sure you're pretty strong. Of course, she also even steps on his butt in this episode. Yeah. She basically, like, kind of crunches on his rear end. Yeah, she does that in this episode with her boot, nonetheless. And how she basically uh, surprises him by throwing a bunch of kunai at him. Like, about 20 kunai at the ground, right in front of him just to get his attention. I know Stagoski is also known for doing this as well. She's known for throwing kunai at Gein's head a lot. And somehow he survives being having kunai directly at his head. Yep. And this was... Yeah, this, this episode was pretty funny. And, of course, the episode ends with... Well, all these women basically seeing him with this underwear thing. They're probably going to figure out next episode anyways. This really is Gein. I'm sure all of them probably are going to beat the crap out of him for uh, not telling them that he's back in Edo. <laughs> and as far as I know, Sarah Toby and Gein do not get married at all. Nope. Absolutely hilarious episode, and it's weird how the Yamazaki disappears halfway through. Yeah, I thought that was really weird. Now, I kind of predicted that this series, basically because the, the manga just ended recently, well, in Wiki Shulin and Jump, it's going to start in Jump Ginga soon. I don't know when, they have not announced when it's going to come out yet. But overall, there's only about 13 chapters left to adapt. Prior to this week's episode, they only had 16, so I roughly guessed that the series will probably wrap up in four to five episodes at the rate it's going at it probably will wrap up in five episodes that is just my theory on the matter and i'm sticking to it it'll probably wrap up and this is my personal theory probably by episode number 370 yeah that's probably what's going to wrap up mm -hmm. yeah as for basically finding the jump fest specials i might just skip them i might just worry about it some other time yeah, and pretty much like the only thing I have to go is just the anime movies, which I can, you know, I can basically watch those on the same side of watching the series. And uh, I can maybe watch the live action film. I haven't found it yet, but I probably will find it soon. Yeah, but otherwise, though, that's it for this particular review. Uh, stay tuned probably tomorrow for my review of the, the two anime movies. I'm probably going to watch those next, anyways. Yeah. But until I see you in the next review, bye.